hello. You must be our new employee. Well, gee, welcome. Come on in. I bet you're super excited to start having fun, making fun for kids around the world. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, where do you think you're going there, buddy? <laughs> Look, I know it's exciting, but before we can get you up there on the factory floor, we've got to talk about safety, huh? That's right, because my pal Huggy says that fun is just one part of fundamentally understanding the need for awareness, cleanliness, timeliness, obedience, and regulating yourselves. So, come on, let's get started. Rule number one, always be sure to wash your hands before you enter the factory floor. Grubby hands mean grubby toys, and at Playtime Co, we like our toys nice and clean. Huggy gets it. Now, rule number two. Everybody's excited to get home after a hard day's fun, but you must never leave your station for any reason before the bell rings. Not without permission from a supervisor, and there will be no Overtime. <sighs> Rule number three. Fun takes focus. No distractions. When on the factory floor, please try to remain as quiet as possible. Superfluous auditory impositions on the environment may result in disciplinary action. Rule number four, secrets. I know you'll all want to go and tell all of your friends about the exciting goings on here at Playtime Co. But you know what's even more exciting? Why the NDA rules laid out in section three, page 42 of your Playtime Co. employee handbook, of course, the breach of which may result in termination. Whoa there, Huggy. <laughs> Not that kind of termination. <laughs> Rule number five. You must report anybody you see not following these rules to your supervisor. That includes this rule. Anyone observed to not be reporting rule breaking they are currently observing has been observed to be breaking a rule and should be reported immediately. Quickly, before somebody reports you. Rule number six. Smile, you're on camera. For your safety, we keep a watchful eye on everybody here at Playtime Co. Any attempt to interfere with Playtime Co surveillance equipment will result in immediate termination. And speaking of Playtime Co equipment, how about those grab packs, eh? Rule number seven. Our handy helpers may seem fun, but not everything in a toy factory is a toy. Always be sure to exercise caution when operating your grab pack around heavy machinery, or else you might end up in a tangle. Ugh. Serious injury, death, or dismemberment may occur. If you're experiencing hallucinations or symptoms of schizophrenia, you must report to your on-duty playtime physician right away. Reports of noxious and or hazardous materials used in the production of our toys are both entirely fabricated and highly exaggerated. So if you're feeling under the weather, try drinking some water or breathing less deeply. Employers are liable for the safety of themselves and those around them. Plato Co. will not be held accountable for accident, injuries, trauma, physical or mental or resulting life-altering impairments up to and including death. Rule number nine. Employees are explicitly prohibited from entering restricted areas. Authorization is given on a case-by-case -case basis, and employees enter at their own risk. No ifs, ands, or buts. Rule number 10. Don't forget to have fun! Working together to bring joy to children around the world here at Playtime Co. is a privilege. We just know that if you follow these 10 simple rules, you'll be a great addition to the Playtime family. We all start here, on the factory floor, but we can't wait to see what you become. Good luck on your first day. It's goodbye from me, and it's goodbye from Huggy. Goodbye! Jimmy, your work as Playtime Co.'s chief marketing officer has skyrocketed the company's profits. How do you do it? You know, it's not what you'd expect. It's the little things most people don't even think about. Like, take names, for example. I'm surprised people haven't realized this. You take the E sound, slap it on the end of a name, boom, you're making bank. Huggy, mommy. Even Elliot knew this way back with Poppy. I guess I kind of... Oh, the blue. Of... 
Blue is huge. I'm telling you. What's your favorite color? Blue? I bet it's blue, right? It's blue? It's green. <laughs> okay. Well, you're a special case. Most people would say blue. But seriously, marketing is not as easy as you think. I make it look easy. If there's anything Playtime Co. should be known for, it's not toys. It's marketing. Mind if I film this? Oh, not at all, sir. That's what I like to hear. So, Marcus, what happened? You see, I was heading home for the day when my apars realized that I left me bloody wallet in the cafeteria. So, I'm running through the lobby, and that's when I see it. A mop handle lodged under the innovation wing gate. So what'd you do, Marcus? Well, I just thought I'd nab the bloody yoke and be on me merry way. And? Well, I'm reaching for the thing, and the mop handle jolts on its own. Had me scared stiff. I, I thought I was the only one there. So, I, I took a peek beneath the gate, and some massive bloody thing was dothering about the bloody hallway. Thing? You're sure it wasn't a person? Ain't no person that's 50 feet long with a thousand legs. Marcus, you're losing me. Maybe you just saw a bunch of people walking by. Look, it wasn't people, all right? I have a bloody notion what it was, but it wasn't human. Hmm. Who have you told about this? Besides me, obviously. Just you, sir. Obviously. Okay. I'll have security skim the cameras and take a look. What? There's a massive bloody monster! Skimming ain't gonna get rid of it! You're out of line, Marcus. We make toys, not monsters. Now, come on, get out of my sight. Actually, uh, grab me a coffee, will you? Actually, never mind, get out of my sight. Oh, I'm on. Oh, hello, Mr. Pierre. Um, look, I know you don't want to hear any more about this. I get it. Um, sounds like a bad joke, huggy-wuggy staring at children. But, look, I'm filming this so, so I can hopefully prove what I saw. Look, if some, if some creep is hiding nanny cams in our mascot's eyeballs, then it's something that needs to be taken seriously. You know, something dangerous is going on, and I, I, I'm sure it wasn't on purpose, I'm sure it was just some big mistake, but I saw what I saw, and, and I, I, I'm positive about that, and uh, I know if you could see it too, I think you'll understand. I'm scared, and I don't know what to do. I think I'm gonna die. I had to pretend I'd seen nothing so the company would leave me alone. They, they took away my pension. They've, they've, they've been writing me up, left and right. Four days ago, somebody, <clears throat> somebody's happened with my car. One of the tires it, uh, flew off on the interstate. I nearly died. For whoever's watching this, my name is Rowan Stoll. I work for Playtime Co. It's a massive toy company. They made Huggy Wuggy. They've been using all the, the money they've made to experiment with people. I have proof of it all. Next week, I've scheduled the companies, the, the servers, the security, uh, to be shut down for 60 minutes of maintenance. While security is out, I'm gonna release everything and run. I think they're going to kill me first. They have something that eats people alive. I don't want to die. I thought Mr. Pierre was just confused, but he's someone else entirely. I could have saved lives. I had access to everything. It's like they knew. It's like they knew I would never question them. That's probably why they hired me in the first place. I'm an idiot. Listen, if I die, I've hidden everything i found on this tape. If you find this, take it to the police. Do not let them get away with this. Goodbye.